computer. But yeah. Good night, everybody. So, how are you night. talking about? Eh? Ah, share with us. Share it. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Molina. Uh, hola, hello. Hi, <laughs> hola. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hey. I was listening about that. You're talking between uh, Mr. Alex and you, right? A letter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, did you did you I... cut to the beach? No. You look like if you uh, went to the <laughs> beach and didn't put some sunblock. <laughs> I I I I was a. Uh... Playing soccer. Oh, that's the reason why. Yes. Uh, daddy football or no? Yes. Daddy, daddy football. Oh, yes. that's cool. <laughs> so, and you didn't put uh, any on uh, sunblock? No. You forgot? Uh, you forgot? No, it's... Yeah. You forgot? I, I mean, you didn't remember? Uh, no, I, I don't use that. You don't use it. Does it yeah. hurt? Ouch, no, does it hurt? No, no, no. no? Okay. <laughs> well, just as a friendly reminder, and if you want to do it, you can put some aloe vera here. Just uh, to help you recover the color of your skin and take out the, um, the hot part that could be inside your skin. Mm as a friendly reminder, if you want to use it, okay? That's a, that's a tip. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you support it. I'm a person, you see how white I am. Mm -hmm. oh. So in my case, I used, I must use a sunblock. Mm -hmm. oh. Must, because even the reflection of this, of the street, mm -hmm. in my case, that burns my skin. Uh... Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm a kind of white person who is like, um, well, I love some, but I'm not to get away with the sun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I need to protect myself. Ah, uh, you can't go to the beach? I can't, but I have to uh -huh. use a, sun, a sunburn, a, uh, mm -hmm. well, a sunblock in order to, to avoid a burn, because mm -hmm. uh, I'm a person who gets uh, burned easily. Ah. Right? yeah so if i go to the beach and i wanted to swim or something like that i go swimming or really early morning or afternoon uh -huh. uh, around yes. five five something yes uh, i cannot go in, be on the beach at 12 noon ah uh, no okay no i can't okay because yes. after that my skin suffer i remember that when we were like joggers with my sister mm -hmm. uh we spent basically the whole day at the beach in the swimming pool with my mother um mm -hmm. and the sky was cloudy mm -hmm. so we said ah we thought right ah there's yeah. no sun we don't have to protect ourselves blah 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 blah, blah. guess what go ahead but no <laughs> no we have a burn like in in, in class number two Ooh. so we got ah. basically like a little uh, mm -hmm. bumps Mm -hmm. Yes. And I can let you know all over our body. And I mean all over our body without mm -hmm. any part of our body missing. We, you or your sister? Both. Both. Oh. So since that, and you know what, this was really hard and it was really yeah. painful because I have a lot of bombs all yes. around my body. So uh, we need to take care of self for that time. Because mm. of course, because white people, it's more like uh, we we can't we can have like uh, more a chance to have a can mm -hmm. a skin cancer. Uh, so we really? need to be yeah we need to be very careful. All the also the people who has like a like a, a mm -hmm. brown color or black color. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, all of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah. us we are really we need to really take care of ourselves. Uh, yeah, yes, I didn't know. Yeah, I do now. You do. Mm. Yes, we don't need really. There's some white skin color that they are more uh, resistant to solar mm. than the mm -hmm. other ones. Mm -hmm. uh, but in my case, no. No. Uh, mm. no. And I, you know what? I love the beach. I love to swim uh, a lot. Really? Yes, yeah. I do. I do. I, my, well, my, um, 
My preferred exercise is uh, swimming. Mm -hmm. I love swimming. Really? Yeah, ah, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. It's really relaxing. And due to I have a, like a back age problem, it helps mm -hmm. me as well. Because it's, yeah. a, it's a low input exercise and you work out you know, your entire body and your yeah. all the yeah. muscles. So yeah. I love it. But nowadays, due to the quarantine, I cannot go the right, right? Oh, yeah. And I can't. Okay. So right now, I do have to fix another way to lose weight and to burn up some fat and something because I went to have a lot of tests and I'm not good of the LDL and HDL level of cholesterol. So I had to work it out more and I have to change my diet. Uh -huh. So basically, really? yeah, I had to work. And I'm a person uh -huh. who my family both dies. I have diabetic per persons. Uh -huh. So so my pre-diabetic right now. So uh -huh. I had to be oh. careful with that as oh, well. Yes. 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 Okay. So oh my God, to be honest with them, like eh. <laughs> Well, no, this guy that in my job, uh, I have a, uh, well, right now I start training. I had to let you know, I think I, I talked with Fabio last time about that. I start training with my mm -hmm. new area today. So I got to go to the site and uh, basically there's, I'm in the fourth floor right now. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm working with two dogs as well. Olivia and Pepe. Okay. Olivia and Pepe works with us. Mm -hmm. uh, They're all over the place. So basically <laughs> there's elevators and there's upstairs right now mm -hmm. as well. So what I do, because mm -hmm. my doctor said, you gotta exercise again, but you don't have to like go like, woohoo, right? Like we you used to be. Yeah. You need to start step mm -hmm. by step, right? Step. Again, because you have oh. more than two years without exercising. I was like, okay. So I just did something. Mm -hmm. The first time I took the elevator <laughs> and I arrived yeah. like an hour before my training. So there's a space, like there's like, um, like a roof at the, next to our cafeteria when you can like walk around in circles mm -hmm. so i just walk uh, around in circles like uh, mm -hmm. maybe i can 10 minutes and then on one of my okay. breaks and one of my lunches i use the stairs but just to go down <laughs> tomorrow uh -huh. i will use mm -hmm. the stairs but on the opposite way to go up <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i gotta i gotta do some exercises yeah, yeah? i yes. do i need to do a lot of exercises right now Yes. Ah, no. I hate it. I'm getting older. Oof, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but I like it. You know, I like it. Uh, to do uh, exercises, I like it. But right now, I have a little problem with my with my back. Mm -hmm. That the, the doctor uh, told me the same. Go to the swimming because it's the best for the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I will try. Uh, mm -hmm. Me too. You know what? Uh, when I was younger, like, ooh, and live it like that way, ooh. right, guys? long time ago yes <laughs> thank you thank you so much <laughs> yeah when i was four i used to be a gymnastic <laughs> when i was four and uh, also i uh, used to be like a, a ballerina with ballet mm -hmm. so i used to practice a lot of stops the problem is that when you're um when you're a little baby uh you're mm -hmm. trying to that you have a specific diet when you're a gymnastic you have a specific um of course, to garn more muscles, right? And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. even though you have not been um, developed all your uh, height and everything, they they must, you must do some weights, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but, so that happens that um, later on on your future that cause a back problems. Yeah. Yeah, so that, I think that's the reason why I have a backup because when you're a gymnastic, there's like, if mm -hmm. you're a baby, it will be in two days. But if you're like a teenager, it will be in one week. You do a lot of stretches, a lot of stretch exercises. Mm -hmm. And at the end, they open your legs like this. And mm -hmm. the teacher mm -hmm. reposes this is the, the teacher's hand and this is my head. So they do like this, mm -hmm. book, and then you open. Uh -huh. So they broke the bones of your ingles. And that's and that's really important and that's really crucial in order for you to do all the all the exercises, all the rounds and, and get your leg high and everything. You must be you must have your ingles, your bones of your ingles broken. <laughs> if not, you won't be able to do those kind of exercises. So I think that uh, the future that caused me my my back problem. 
because of that so, of course doing exercises is really good but sometimes there is like a physical consequences like a soccer plays right yes they use a lot of yes, your knees yes. so, at the, so at the latest you have a problem with your knees for example or your ankles so like yes yeah. so well so that's why okay, okay. <laughs> hey we have a lot of people here yeah we do have anita we have maria Fabio, Mr. Monterosa, Dalila, yeah, we have Luis, Luis, yes, we got Katy, <laughs> Gabby, Rigoberto, Amilcar, Mr. Omar, Francisco, and Myrna, welcome to the jungle, welcome to the new class here, oh my god, guys, we are almost in, well, beginning, or I was starting, right, week number three, right, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. oh my god, isn't it amazing, the time passed really fast, Oof. Yeah. yes, Yes, it's really, really fast. I hopefully the training was really fast for me, but I don't like it because I have a lot of things to learn that you cannot imagine. Ooh. Okay. Yes, a lot, a lot, a lot. But I'm so happy okay. that you're here. Hey, you got my evaluation next week, right? Uh, uh, last week, right? And I was like, mm -hmm. oh my God, they're going to yeah. kill yeah. me. Okay. <laughs> well, if I get fired, will it be because of you? And I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that laugh, Alec. That is like a really yaka, 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 no. <laughs> like but but and 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 Avilma just it's the same, but uh, yeah, like she she know loud. Just a, a evil laugh. A bad girl. <laughs> you know what? There are some laughings that you just see the person moving, ladies. Like <laughs> but you do not see the person yeah. laugh. You cannot sound. You do not listen to the person laughing. So you just see that the person is moving the head, but uh -huh. doesn't make any noise. So that makes me laugh as well. <laughs> yeah. And do you remember the? Um, oh my God! What is the name in Spanish? Oh, the 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 crazy cars, Los Autos Locos. Do you remember the, that that cartoon? Recito de Oro, no. No, 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 Los Autos Locos, car that cartoon. Yeah, yes, I remember. The yeah. one with the dog. Exactly, do you remember well, that Pierna de Yuna was the, the owner well, of one dog? The one that yeah. have a mustache, well, a real mustache, the and the dog. Exactly, with the, he's like, <laughs> like that, right? So I was like, oh my God, that was a really bad dog. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, I like him. I like him a lot. Oh my God, tell me something, how was your weekend? Was it good? It was good. Yes. Anything yes. special so or any easy. new or anything that you would like to share with us besides Henry that he played uh, that is software, software, right? That's good. Yes. Yes. Did you do anything special beside him? Nothing special? Did you visit somebody? Do you receive a message for somebody? Do you went to the beach? I don't know. Anything? No, was, Nothing uh, special no. at all? For me, it was a normal weekend. Was a, a normal weekend. weekend. Oh yes. my God, nobody did something? It was Park. sick. Oh my I God, sorry, Bill. <laughs> I'm sick. Yeah, you have yeah. a really sexy voice today. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, I'm sorry to hear that. But you're yeah. here, and that's what I'm happy yes. about. That you make an extra effort. Yes. Okay, I will try to ask you something, but not too much. Okay, I will try to okay. consider yourself. You should drink okay. something. Yes, yeah. I, I take pills. Oh, pills. And, okay. Yes, and some tea. Oh, and that's honey. Cool. Honey, yes. honey helps a lot. Yes, but I have a lot of sore throat. Oh my god! Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> honey with ginger. Okay. Yeah, ginger is yes, really ginger, good. Ginger. Yes. And Work. also, yeah, you know I what? Know. That that works. <laughs> that works. I ah. mean, yeah. Is, is that your face, by the way, on the cup? No. No. Because no. it looks like. It's oh, it's like a Frida Kahlo. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> You're missing Diego Rivera one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you yeah. rhyme uh, mr molina once i went to a friend's and i have a really sore problem that you cannot imagine and they gave me two things a chamomile tea with a chamomile oh my god uh, there was this honey but there's a special part of the honey that they give it to me i i don't remember right now but it works uh, oh propolio propolio, propolio. 
Yeah. It's like a oh. natural antibiotic that uh, the, oh. the bees go to a specific trees mm -hmm. and they took the savia of them. So they use mm -hmm. it also to cover their, ho their home and to protect for any uh, anything that they can bring from other places, right? But also there is a specific thing that you do to take out that, that propolio and to mix it. So it's really, really helpful, especially for the ones who have a, like a lungs problem. Yeah. It's really good. So they they made, they gave me like a chamomile with a propolio that it was a tea that comes from Mexico. So I tried it. And after that, they said, we have a tequila. What, are you serious? <laughs> okay, so they gave me a shot, right? Yeah. And, and, yeah, and I was mm -hmm. expecting the lemon, and I was like, "Hey, where's the lemon? No, this is not white. This is not white tequila. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Yes, this is almond tequila. So was it almond? Mm -hmm. Was a tequila with a almond flavor? So they said you don't need a mm -hmm. lemon because it's kind of sweet at the less, right? So you <laughs> okay? They gave me a shot, and they say, okay, one, two, three. You gotta do it at the bottom again. Uh -huh. Okay, so like, yeah. and I was like, oh. I didn't feel it like they were like doing like this. <laughs> All right. So I arrived back home. And you know what? That's one of the weirdest days, but one of the greatest days that I slept such a baby. <laughs> I slept like a baby. And next I day I woke up without any sore of problem. Yeah. <laughs> Really? I was like, yeah, <laughs> believe me, Alex. And I was the like, that, that's what Harry is, is true, Mr. Bolina is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because of course, remember tequila has this is really strong, so they can wow. kill a lot of virus that you have here. So basically they clean it. Saturday, they clean I it. I tried, but it didn't work. It didn't work. And Saturday, it did it. <laughs> so maybe you have another problem. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe. Well, hopefully you get better. If not, you gotta go to the doctor. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. Want. I don't want to. <laughs> Me neither, but I have to. All righty. <laughs> Guys, so nobody did any special here. Tequila, Gabby said, yeah. And Dalila said, yeah. yeah. And Dahlia, <laughs> uh, Dahlia, yes. Yeah. All righty. So nobody did any special today. Come on. You're so bored. I just kidding. <laughs> no, of course. We wanted to, but there's no time, right? Gotta work. Yeah. But maybe we need to rest. Like, I will stay home. All righty, very good. Well, I'm a teacher who's, uh, I said uh, I don't have an elephant memory, but I do have elephant memory for homeworks, right? Yes. And everybody's mm -hmm. like, shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Monila, why you do that? It had to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so happy that you're here because you're in relax. Most of the time you're at work, right? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not okay. All righty. So I remember that I gave you like a time so you can to get a screenshot about um, your co-workers uh, expressions about what Jerome's right working as a accountant, working as a la, 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 their point of view, right? About a specific profession. Yeah. And you were supposed to pick one of them and mm -hmm. rewrite according to my memory. Uh, your point of view about the disadvantages about that job, right? Remember that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. We can do it democratically if you wanted to, or we can do it by memory. It's up to you. Which one <laughs> you prefer? I think you prefer democratically, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, all right. Let me figure it out something really quickly because I got to open up your. Um, your chat. I have a lot of chats that you cannot imagine. I'm thinking sometimes I feel like a doctor. Let me check it out. Yes, there you go. That's what I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All righty. Okay. Oh, my baby dog. All right. So, um, Fabio, thank you so much for participating. You're such an amazing guy. I know. I know everybody mm -hmm. wants to participate, but yeah it's first let's do it <laughs> okay let's do it uh the first which one I did you like, pick i choose the binar substance the one that rigoberto argeta did when the rigo did let me check if i have it here 
I think I have it Say, here. Being a receptionist is so exciting because you met new people all the time in addition to that they might give some gift from their countries and talk a bit about their culture. Oh my God. Okay, that's a big Duncan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So you have to uh, write about this event. So what is your opinion yeah. about that? For me, in addition of uh, being a, a receptionist can be also a bit stressful because mm -hmm. uh, they it may be days where they can feel overwhelmed with the sheer volume of people demanding their, their assistance. Oh my God. Furthermore, some of these people can be a bit problematic. I have heard that because, yeah, some people may, can make a, a bit of mess there and can say you can say some words that can make you feel bad. So that's <laughs> dealing that's with angry good. customers. Dealing with the anger customer. Well, Mr. Byron Haro <laughs> arrived, but we can ask him later. <laughs> and that oh. can make their job less enjoyable. So. <laughs> All righty. So, are, Mr. Rigoberto, are you agree with, with uh, Fabio's opinion? 50% and 50%. 50-50. Okay. <laughs> you can be a big Duncan, right, to receive a gift for different countries. You know what big Duncan is? <laughs> no, do you remember that in El jo -Jo. Salvador we used to have a Jojo -Jo here? Jo -Jo. Yeah, right. and they call Duncan, right? So when you say big Duncan, it's like we you are to get sometimes you use that when you would like to be together with the teacher, right? Like ah, the favorite student. <laughs> sometimes okay, but uh, big Duncan, you can be in this case, he wants to be like big Duncan with the clients. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know how to say that in French? No, nope. no, no. Okay, in French, it's like in Spanish that we are really uh, um, emphasize in the masculine, masculine and feminine words. But sometimes the mm -hmm. uh, the words that we have here in, in Spanish, mm, masculine, sometimes are feminine, and in, in French, so we need to like figure it out, right, to use the proper article. So in this case, if the if a girl wants to be like together like this with a t-shirt, we said la chouchou de la classe. <laughs> and if a man wants to be like together with a t-shirt, we said le chouchou de la classe. Le, <laughs> he, da. Yeah. La, da as well, but feminine, right? So masculine, le, feminine, la. La chouchou de la classe et le chouchou de la classe. Okay, so now you learn another another word. In another oh. idiom, in another language as mm -hmm. well. So you see? All right, mm, very yeah. good. So that's why it's really, it's really important. It's really important the pronunciation and the, the writing. La well. chouchou, I don't know. <laughs> la, la chouchou de la classe. Girl. La chouchou de la classe. Exactly. <laughs> Le chouchou de la classe. Boy. Right? Okay. But if, if you said le, if you're if you like you're writing L-E-S, and mm -hmm. that means plural. Oh. So that's why if you're talking about him, which is L-E, the article is L-E, so you have got to pronounce le, le. Mm. Right? It's, that's why you, you, just, you don't know le. It's Le, because if you said le, you're talking about plural, no single. So that's why it's really, really uh, important, right, Marie? I, I, are you teacher of French too? That's what I want to be. <laughs> oh, but uh, but I gotta finish some things, and I gotta take what uh, in English is Toffel and Toy, right? And it's, mm -hmm. in the French is uh, Delf and Dal. Mm -hmm. So it's like equivalent. So mm -hmm. I need to finish some levels in order to take that. And after that, I need to start giving French classes. And after two years, oh. I can apply oh. to become an answer oh, for a French teacher. So there's a, still a whole a long journey to the road. Yeah. But I love it. I love French. And in my work, mm -hmm. I have used French a lot. Really? Oh, uh, yes. Very good. Especially with Canadian people. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not the same French at all. It's not the same. 
Oof, you cannot imagine. I remember those days. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, no. All righty. So we're good about that. Thank you, Fabio. Fabio, I will give yes. you the microphone is all yours. Okay, I picked you. Now you pick somebody else from the classroom. Okay, let's see. I will. Nice. <laughs> Anita, not because she has a really sore problem. So, okay. Don't speak her. Okay, we're going to give her a, a chance. Okay, I got it. Uh, Henry. Henry, Henry what? Monterosa. Monterosa. Mr. Monterosa. All right, our web developer. Go ahead. Okay. Let Which one did you pick? Uh, being a pilot is a very, is a job with a lot of responsibilities. Lazaro, okay. B B uh, Byron, right? Byron? The, the one, the Byron? Yeah, uh, Byron. Okay, Rose? Byron. okay. okay. About, about the pilot. Okay, cool. Being a pilot is a job with a lot of responsibilities. If the airplane have a problem, the pilot is the responsible of the, of the passenger's life. So the pilots need to be, uh... sorry, I didn't finish this. <laughs> Needs to be responsible and well-trained. <laughs> <laughs> so the Very pilots good. need to be responsible and have a lot of care. Experience. Oh, yeah, experience. Very good. Pilot. Needs. Pilot. Remember? Needs. We're talking about third Needs. person. Needs. Needs. Very good. Okay. Good job. Are you agree with Henry, guys? Or do you want to add something else? No? Oh, my God. I know it's Monty. And everybody's so quiet. Everybody wants to participate, right? Are you awake or you're not awake? I, <laughs> I agree with Henry Motorosa. I agree. Ah, Henry. Pilot is, 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 is really a uh, responsibility. Mm -hmm. I don't... Very sleepy. <laughs> Anita, Bilma, Godinez. To... Yes. Okay, you want to you wanna write it or you want to yeah. read it? Okay, go ahead. Yes, I try. First of all, the cost of becoming a pilot are very high. In addition, you will be away from home quite often and you have to work in holidays because your schedule always change and have sleeping issues. Also, that's why many pilots have sleeping issues. In conclusion, if you consider becoming a pilot, make sure to check out all the advantages and the disadvantage before taking a decision. Bravo, bravo, excellent yes. job. Excellent yes. job with the linking words. That's what I like. Very good. Oh, well, I got to congratulations for the punctuation. Yes, yes. I do like to congratulate, except okay. for the first one. Oh. First of all. The first one? Oh, yeah. Why? Okay, because you're it. starting a sentence that to be capital F. Yes. All right. But the rest, it's fine. And also, I have to congratulate you because of the extra effort. Thank you. you did an extra mile. Very good job. Good Thank job. And you're you're right. I'm agree with you 100 percent because that happens. It's hard. It's hard. Yes, it is hard. Tired. Ah, uh, yes, it is tired a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can get uh, go, some gastro problems because it depends on the time you arrive. Sometimes it's really different uh, mm -hmm. time zone and also um, the type of food that you can get. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. and so you right about are that. different. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, definitely. You're right. You know what? My food. father did it. He wasn't a pilot, but he used to have the schedule of a pilot. So I remember that we he was in El Salvador, and he he already had in his body the time zone from the country that he was coming. Right. So yeah. uh, at <laughs> at four and a half a.m., woke up my mama and said. A mommy, what? Uh, that's what he called him. He used to call her. Eh, can I get a little tortilla with beans? And my mama knew that it was not only a tortilla and beans. It was the whole breakfast, right? <laughs> yeah, and mm -hmm. a cup of coffee. So you see, my mama has to wake, stand up, wake up, and then prepare the breakfast and give it to my dad. And because he used to have the schedule from the country that he's coming from then my mama <laughs> has to go back to sleep for a little time and wake up at 7 a.m 
so go to work right mm -hmm. so that's why I, yeah you're right about that anita i 100 agree there you go anita now that you have uh, participated so let uh, another um classmate please okay um um maria Ah, Maria Moran, Miss Moran. Very good. Hi, Maria. <laughs> it's all yours. Go ahead, girl. Hello. Hello. Uh, I can say the, the screen, but um, uh, Francisco, uh, Javier. Uh, Francisco. The, 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 he, he shared. Ah, shared yes. A, a screen, okay. Yes. And about um, Henry Monterosa. Okay. Oh, the web developer. About okay, Henry, listen developer. carefully. <laughs> about spin developer, I I agree uh, with with him that, that um, why disagree or not? Uh, you had to disagree with him. Hmm. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Oh, um, okay, but <laughs> <laughs> it's it's difficult because. Yeah, I think that is is really stressful that that the work <laughs> because um is when I for my experience when I uh, watch the developers I think that I I think that they um, can prepare my my computer uh, they can. It helped me uh, to with, with my problems mm -hmm. and about the programs and about the uh, uh, I I can say uh, about the uh, I I can say the root in the programs I don't know and just but is is I agree about that you agree yes but I I I think. <laughs> You did it wrong. <laughs> yeah. I will give you a chance. I will give you a chance. Don't worry. Uh, you can just uh, like uh, like Anita did. This is a really good example of use the linky words. First of all, in addition, finally, in conclusion, because uh, and I, and you can uh, talk about Mr. Monterosa um, profession or job, but I want okay. Maria to give us or to provide us a disadvantage about that job. Okay, so I will give you on tomorrow, okay? I will give you a chance. Okay. Huh. Okay. No, but that's okay. okay. Good <laughs> good try. Thank you so much, guys. I, I know I would like to listen to everybody, but of course, we don't have time. We need to cover some topics right now. But I have to let you know something. Do you know why I did this? What? Why I did this exercise. No. The reason why I did this exercise, guy, because when we were in class, I gave you like a specific time to talk about uh, a job, right? An advantage of that, right? And mm -hmm. I gave you uh, the entire weekend to talk about this advantage of one of your classmates' um, jobs. The reason why I, gave, why I gave you that kind of exercise is because sometimes we're going to face an essay to talk about a specific to a topic and we would need, they're gonna ask us, hey, please create um, one or four paragraphs about this topic. I ask you only one paragraph, but it's not common. Most of the time we need four paragraphs. And in order for us to get used to, to express our ideas in an order, but logic way, we need and we must use the linking words such as first of all, in addition, uh, in conclusion, at the end, et cetera, okay? Whatever. In order to, the, um, to our readers to like follow our ideas. And also the other part is because sometimes they ask us, okay, this is the topic. This is what the author thinks. Okay, tell me your point of view. Are you agree or disagree? And you gotta do exactly the thing. So you, there's two things. One, you can have to create your own answers about a specific topic. And the second one, you gotta uh, put in your own words, your point of view, if you agree or disagree with the outer's opinion about something, okay? So, and this is really little. As I said, 
essays. The essays are four parts, and I'm I'm trying to focus on this one right now because we need to develop our writing skills. Writing is not just a have vocabulary; also includes logic, common sense, a, a lot of vocabulary, right? A linking words, punctuation, etc., and also try to express yourself not like redundancy, try to be like focused and specific because as an English uh, learners or the, the English people, America people, they're not redundant. They go straight to the head to what they want and they express the, the things like this, yeah. right? Not, not like Latin people. So mm -hmm. that's why we're doing this kind of job. And I gave you time. Most of the time, guys, uh, as I was explaining to you, in the TOEFL, in the TOEFL test, the writing part is like this. It's exactly like this, but you have time and you have no more than 30 minutes to do that. And you got two parts. One part is the one that we did in the class. And the second part is similar to the one that you had for homework. So if you have to get used to, to like this small exercises to do it because it will help you not only to pass a test in the future but also to to do your job better you you write emails right you receive emails is that right you you are like uh, communicate between co-workers with the supervisor the ceo and other departments etc so you need to like um learn how to write correctly yeah and don't redundant, go straight to the head to the points that you have, okay? So one of the keys that I will give it to you is that, for example, when you're talking about a, uh, a specific topic and you want to express your point of view about one topic and specifically, let's, let's say animals of use, for example, let's say that. In the first paragraph, most of the time, that is the outer's point of view, the first paragraph, the outer's point of view. It could be positive, it could be negative. And the last three is the reason. You're going, you're going to find the reason why the outers think in a positive or in a negative way all the time. So that is a key that I can give you to you. That's a tip. When you would like to debate or to express why you agree or disagree with something, you got to focus on the first paragraph because in the first paragraph, it is, the outer's point of view. And in the last three, there is the reasons why he or she gives about what she or thinks like that way. So it's really, really important. Those are tips right now that I'm giving you and that will help you not only agree in English, but in anything that you read. Do you see? But what, ha what happened with the second paragraph and the fourth paragraph? Yes, the because second, the third and the they... fourth, there will be the reasons. Uh, the first okay. paragraph is what the outers think about, positive yes. or negative. And the paragraph two, three, and four are the reasons why the outer thinks like that way, okay. most of the time. Okay, so that's why it's really, really important. That's what I gave you this kind of exercises. And I will give you another exercises, okay? I think I'm going to send Sunday for you to practice. I teach her, yes. Any questions, any doubts that you might have for we, before we continue, we move on? No? Are you scared? <laughs> no? <laughs> Kathy, what happened to you? You're like, hi, Kathy. I like the color of your blouse. Is it a dress or a blouse? It is blouse. Yeah, it's beautiful. I like that color. Thank you. Yeah. My bedroom is like that color, but it's a little bit darker. That's really good. I love it. Aqua color. I love it by heart. Okay, guys. So we want to move on. And but also we will continue with the topic of uh, of jobs. And right now, guys, we have learned how to use gerunds, right? As a subject and as a object. And also using the link words to talk about professions and everything. But also, guys, there's another way that we already learned that. And we will continue using that. So in today's topic, we will continue using that and I will let you know why. And I will show you in the middle. But also guys, it is important to know that we can compare 
as well between one job and another one, right? Or express our point of view without the respect any job, okay? So when we compare or we use comparisons when talking about a job, we can use for uh, comparisons with four things, with nouns, with adjectives, with verbs, and we pass participle, okay? So we can use it. It, it is really easy peasy queasy. As long as you know which, what words are nouns, what words are adjectives, what words are verbs, and what words are past participle, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Let me ask you something. What is a noun? I know everybody wants to participate. I know that. I know for sure. Everybody is like, me, teacher, me, teacher. I know that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Luis. Yeah. Uh, nouns. Yeah. What What um, is considered a noun? Can you Can you give me the definition of a noun? What is a noun? Uh, I like that sound. I like the background. Yes. <laughs> hey, in my house. Um, I know. We're dancing. <clears throat> I don't remember the nouns, but give I me an think. Example. Okay. Um. Uh, and quality, don't. No. That okay. is something else. Anything, names, or okay. things, or countries, names. or persons. Exactly. Very good, Luis. Very good, Francisco. Names, places, things, etc. Right? Exactly. Animals, etc. And guys, may I ask you something? What is an adjective? It's a quality of the name. Exactly. Yeah. Now, yes, Luis, an adjective is a quality. Very good. So exactly. Adjectives describes, right? Describes a noun. All right. Very good. What is a verb? The action of the subject. Very good, Marinita. The action. Exactly. Who makes the action? And of course, the past participle, you already know that is a verb, but in the? In the? Participle. In the past. Very good. It could be regular or irregular, right? You know that for sure. Okay, so, oh my God, you are so intelligent. I love it. I love you by home. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Very good. So let me share right now my screen with you and you will see how easy peasy queasy is this, is this topic. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna complicate my life. I will try to show it to you um, as easy as possible. Let me check it out. I told you that you're gonna love grammar with me. And you will see how practical it is. All right, can you see my screen? Yes, right? Okay, cool. Guys, but before I let you know the formula or the structure for a comparison with noun, comparison with adjectives, and comparison with verbs and past participle, it is really important to get some work related, or we can say vocabulary. Uh, of course, I have chosen some of them. But I know that are there are more like this, okay? So let me share right now with you. Okay, work-related adjectives. A stressful, right? Fantastic. Fascinating. Difficult. Easy. Interesting. Dangerous. Okay, those are adjectives that we can use, guys, to describe or compare one job between another. But also we have related nouns. We can also talk about hours that a doctor works, right? That is different from the mechanic hours, for example. Education, work, etc. Is it clear right now? Of course, there's an example. We have more. But I have chosen these ones because they are the most common. Right now, do you have any questions right now? No? Hello? Oh, I don't understand no. the word relate noun. Related nouns. Related nouns are nouns that are like common together. For example, if you're talking about a job, Francisco, you're talking about the work that the people does, right? You're talking about the hours that that job demands. Mm -hmm. And also you're talking about the education that the person must have in order to work for that job. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're related. So they are 
uh, nouns that we can use, uh, Francisco, to talk about any kind of jobs. Because all of jobs needs a specific education. All of jobs requires a specific hour to work. And all of jobs, you work. Sometimes you work harder than the other ones, but you do a job, you do a work. Is that right? Do you understand now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. So can we practice the pronunciation, guys? Okay. Okay, stressful. Stressful. I know, I'm gonna kill you. Stressful. <laughs> Stressful. 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 Again, stressful. Stressful. Very good. That's what I need. Fantastic. 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 Fascinating. Fascinating. Difficult. 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 Easy. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Dangerous. Dangerous. Very good. Remember Michael Jackson song Dangerous like that. Okay. Yes, I remember. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> I want <went> this. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. And related nouns. Hours. 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 Education. 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 Work. 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 Okay, very good. Huh? Just just to double check, guys, what is what does the meaning of stressful? Stressant. Very good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Awesome. Very Fantastic. good. Fascinating. Fascinante. Fascinante. Very good. Difficult. 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 Very easy. Fascinating. Interesting. 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 Dangerous. Dangerous. Very good. Okay. And I'm not going to ask you about the word related now yeah. because that's easy, <laughs> easy, easy, right? Okay, guys. So, of course. And also, before we continue and give you the comparison with uh, with adjectives, with nouns, with verbs, and with best participle, we need to know or we need to increase about our vocabulary in regards to the type of jobs that we have. So I select this one. Do you like it? I love it when I saw it. Those are really crazy ones. So, okay. Uh, what is the meaning of this one? Accountant. 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 Very good. Accountant. What about this one? Architect. 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 What about this one? Astronomer. 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 And this one? Outer. 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 Okay. Outer. This one? Baker. This one? Butcher. Butcher. Continue. Carpenter. Carpenter. Very good. Continue. Dentist. Dentist. And this one? Doctor. Doctor. Mm -hmm. Farmer. 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 Very good. This one? Firefighter. 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 Mm -hmm. This one? Dutch. 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 Very good. Dutch. Mechanic. 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 North. 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 Pilot. Here's Byron. Okay. Lumber. 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 Surgeon. 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 Alrighty. Surgeon. Teacher. 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 Ah, no, 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 no. Teacher. No. 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 Teacher. No. Hey, you gotta be careful how you pronounce that. Ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that we have two kind of pronunciation, right? I love that song. I don't know why. Not the church. <laughs> uh -huh, very good. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Okay, we got, I sent it in the chat right now. We got t shirt, which is in glad to this one, right? Yeah. But, but t this, uh -huh, t shirt. T but this one, it is related to most of the time to, to men, right? T shirt is for men, right? Blouse is for girls. Yeah. So remember, t shirt, yeah. you see? T shirt hmm. is the outfit and teacher it's sure it's me mm -hmm. teacher or francisco yes, right teacher. so yeah. please try to pronounce it correctly don't offend <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no i know i know even though the, you see i know it's like it's like a goofy sometimes right we can laugh but it's really important the pronunciation <laughs> it is we can make a mistake and a huge mistake guys so yes okay there you mm -hmm. go so going back to business all right so what, now that we have like a, a vocabulary, right? What we can say. Now let me present it to you. The comparison structure. Okay. Doesn't matter if you are using a um a verb, an adjective, 
And now on a past possible, this is what you're gonna do. Here in the middle, you're going to put an adjective, you're going to put a noun, a verb, or for example, a past participle, okay? More than, what is the opposite? Less than, right? Yes. Better than, what is the opposite? Worse than. Worse than. Worse than. Uh -huh. As us, okay? When you are comparing, for example, you can say, um, nurse, uh, working as a nurse demands as many hours as a doctor, for example, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And not as us. Okay. You can say it's an is not as or it's not or uh, or it's not much. Depends on what you're talking talking about, right? All right. Let me give you an example here. You see that? Yes. You can say is more or less interesting than. For example, let me let me use the first one. I will give this is this is not my point of view, okay? This is just like an example. So don't take personally, okay? Yeah. Don't take personally. It's just <laughs> okay. a comparison. And remember, you see, we're going to use gerunds, guys, here. Being a lawyer, we can say let's let's choose a one of one um one of job. Let's choose lawyer, for example. Being a lawyer, mm -hmm. let me check this is like, yes. Being a lawyer, I don't have purposes. Is, mm -hmm. um, is harder. Less interesting. Uh, okay, yeah. harder. It's harder than, mm -hmm. come on, in Spanish, no. Than being a, mecha no, mechanic now. That is so common. Engineer. A carpenter. Carpenter. Okay. For example, you see, okay. I use this one. I use an adjective. Mm -hmm. Harder. Remember, right? We have adjectives with one syllable, with two syllables. Remember that? Yeah. For mm -hmm. example, if it's one, one more than one syllable, that's what we use more or less, right? Interesting. Yeah. We have three syllables there. All righty. Mm -hmm. So, and the, also verb, we... and the verb ever is past participle. Which one? In this case, harder. But harder oh, is not oh, a verb, it's an adjective. It's sorry, an adjective. Yes, 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 I'm sorry. yes, yes, it's an adjective. So that's why I, I was asking you to like I, remember that. Yeah, I remember. It's yeah, Monday, okay. sorry. <laughs> I know the body knows, don't worry. <laughs> no, that's okay. And if we would like to use, for example, with a past participle, we can say, mm -hmm, a, or you can say working. As who, who, who arrived? Uh -huh. oh, uh, oh, no, you can say, yeah, being a lawyer or working as a lawyer, right? Mm -hmm. Working as a lawyer. What, what we can say that? It's not as hard. You can say what? Is is not more. as far. It's as well pay, right? As a doctor, can we say that? Or no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably. Maybe. You can say that. There's a possibility, right? So you yes. see how, how we mm -hmm. use it? As long guys as we know. Which of the words that we use after that, or after then, or after better, or hard, or worse, whatever, we can use a comparison with a lot of things, with adjectives, with noun, with verbs, and with past participles. Are you ready to put in practice something? Yeah? Are you ready okay. for writing exercises? Okay. Okay, yeah. this one, we're gonna do something. We're gonna do the like individually. No, we're gonna do it together. Now we're good on that. Yeah. Okay, we can do it together. We have eight. And the, the adjective, guys, you have to focus on the one that we have here, on the word that we yeah. have in parentheses, right? You need to identify yeah. if it's noun, adjective, verb, or whatever. So okay. this one, let me check on this one. Interesting. Is it an adjective, a noun, a verb, or what? Adjective. An adjective. adjective. So how can we are going to compare between a okay. fashion designer and an accountant? 
Volunteers? Yes. Thank you, Maria. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant. Bravo. Very good accountant. job. Excellent. And then an accountant. An accountant. An accountant. Very good. Do it again. Uh, okay. uh, read the sentence for me, please. Okay. Being a fashion, a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant. Very good. Excellent job. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. Number two, Francisco. TV reporter's job is uh, less uh -huh. dangerous than a firefighter's job. Very good. Excellent job. Number three. Um, Mr. Alex. A uh, police officer mm -hmm. uh, less travel than a flight attendant. Yeah, the flight attendant. Very good. You're right attendant. about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about number four, uh, 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 Gabby? Gabby. 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 <laughs> Hello, hello, is it you I'm looking for? Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear you by Gabby. the phone. I, I think Gabby has some problems right now with the, oh, I think yeah. he's not here. All right, so Francisco, no, yes, Francisco, right? No, Francisco already participated. And Mr. Lewis, yes, go ahead. Number four. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. A factory supervisor. Uh, more. Earn. Earn than a volunteer teacher. Uh -huh. Earns more money, right? Yes. Than a volunteer teacher. Very good. A volunteer. Volunteer teacher. Volunteer teacher. Very good. Excellent. Number five, Omar. Omar. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Number five. Hello. Yes, please. Love distance truck drivers have not as hard than tellers. Yeah, you read about that. Yes, excellent job. What about number six? Uh, who can help me with the number six? Um, and, mm -mm. Mironita, what about you, number six? I love usually how more education mm -hmm. than airport security guards. Very good. Yeah, that's the point of view, right? Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not, right? Uh, airport security guards, very good. And number seven, let me check, let me check. Kathy, number seven. Mm-hmm. Kati. Kati. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. Is. Is. More. More? Train. Is more train or it's, or you can use, let me check, let me go back. It's better. Maybe it could be a noun, right? Mm, better. That's better. Remember the train is, is it an adjective train? Yeah. Or is a noun? Ah, this word can, 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 uh, can roll the two, depends. If you're talking about trained, is it an adjective? It's a verb. Uh-huh, it's a verb. Okay, a doctor is, is, is better training than, uh, than a medical assistant. Aha, that's your point of view. Anybody? Very good. Thank you, Kathy. Anybody else has another sentence? What about this one, guys? As well. As well. No, as, as. Yeah. You said a doctor it's is nice. as trained as medical assistant? Yeah. You said that? It's much better, right? 
as trained as a medical. Very good, very good. And the last one, social worker isn't. It could be like this one, guys. It could be like this. Mm -hmm. It could be as as or as much as. Depends. So paid. Mm -hmm. Paid. Is it a verb? Yes. Yeah. In present or past? Past. Personal. So which one we're supposed to use? It's a very paint tent. Mm -hmm. Isn't? Uh -huh. Isn't? Isn't a very paid. Is it a very paid or as paid? As paid. As paid. As paid. As pharmacist. As a pharmacist. As as as. Remember, as paid as. As as pharmacist. Very good. Excellent job. Good job, guys. Excellent. Well done. Let's practice on intonation, right? Because um, we have another um jobs that require good intonation. So repeat after me, zookeeper. 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 What is that? What is a zookeeper? El cuidador de. Very good. There's a movie about that, right? Okay. Firefighter. 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 Bank teller. Bank teller. Drug driver. Drug driver. Gossip columnist. Gossip columnist. Guidance counselor. Guys, guys, you see that this is a this our profession, is that right? But this profession says something in particular. We got yeah. sue and we got keeper. We got fire and we got fighter. We got back and we got tether. Truck driver, gossip and colonists, guidance and consular. How many words that we have per job? You see, we have sue is one thing, right? Yes. And keeper is another thing. But if we join the two, we make a name of a job. So in this case, guys, all of these uh, jobs is what we call compound nouns. You know what compound noun is? A compound noun is a, is a it could be a verb, or in this case, it's a noun because it's a job that is constructed with one or more words together for example i can give it to you another job another example let me go back for example we have bus and we have a station right but together bus station means bus station. a place that we go yeah. to wait for the bus right so that is a mm -hmm. compound noun yeah Air station yeah uh -huh. or gas station for gas example station. right mm -hmm. okay so you see how compound station. nouns are so basically, we also have a compound nouns that we join two words and together they mean another kind of job. Yeah. And it's really mm -hmm. important to use the intonation so try to pronounce it correctly. Okay, guys, uh -huh. I think I'm gonna give you a homework. <gasps> Time is over, can you imagine? Ooh. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna do a role play. Yay, is everybody excited? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do a role play just tomorrow. Yeah, that means that we're gonna speak more tomorrow. We're gonna develop the um, the speaking and the listening as well. And tomorrow we're gonna do a role play. But think about guys that jaws that we saw today, right? The the last one with the intonation, the one that you spoke on your um on your homework, and the ones that I show you the picture, right? You can pick any. But this is a tricky one because now you have to think about something. Let me let you know what will be the homework about. <laughs> okay, you gotta make a list, guys, of all the reasons why you wouldn't like a specific job. I want you guys to think about what is negative, difficult, or boring about, about the job that you're gonna pick. So I want you guys to talk okay. about salary, hours, location, et cetera. For example, let me give an example. That is not the case, but I can give you an example. I'm a teacher and my salary is terrible. <laughs> I'm a doctor and I have a higher salary than a teacher, but a teacher has better hours. Okay, I'm a taxi driver. My hours aren't as bad as a doctor's, but you see, okay? okay. So that's what I want. Each of you uh, will pick 
any profession. Mm. And I want you guys to talk about why you don't like to have that profession. Please. Okay. okay. And we're going to practice tomorrow the profession. But also, I don't want, well, it will be like, like a conversation between everybody. And we're going to use all the comparison that we uh, learned today. I'm okay. going to send it to you in the WhatsApp in a minute so you can study because I want you guys to use it correctly. I'm going to evaluate how well you use it. Okay. Any questions, any okay. doubts that you might have right now? No? no. It's your Monday morning, oh. you're giving us Monday morning, <laughs> Monday <laughs> afternoon at night, and you're giving us the chair. Homework. Oh. And how many reasons? Only one or two. Only one. Okay. Only one or two. Okay. So you have two homeworks, remember? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> 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 now, guys, it's been a pleasure to have you. you one just, more time. just one or two and one page. No. <laughs> oh, it's a little <laughs> one. It's a little okay. one like that, like this. You can, like, let me double check how many and how many jobs. Let me check. Mm. <clears throat> okay no only one only one profession okay. only one pro and okay. then we're gonna do a role please all righty hey javier hi thank you welcome to the jungle I'm just kidding okay guys i'm gonna let you go have breakfast breakfast come on goodness <laughs> It's in Monday morning. No, it's Monday morning. It's Monday, you see? Even the teacher gets <laughs> crazy sometimes. Oh, my goodness. Because today I woke up at 5.30. So, ah, all righty. Okay, guys. Go and have dinner. Go and rest. Hugs and kisses. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye. Night. Bye. 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 Bye.